Uh, we've got a special treat for you tonight, as if this whole night hasn't been a special treat. Um, we've actually got Connor in the house. We've got Connor Doyle himself. It's, and here he is. It's him, everybody. Connor. See? We knew he was taking it. He's fine. And uh, one of one of our good friend Connors, this is, see this is normally the opposite. Normally he's gonna go way up. He's so tall. <laughs> Who's tall now, Connor? <laughs> uh, so one of his one of his dying wishes, he had so many, uh, was to do stand up for the first time. Finally, yes. it's so brave. Everybody up here is so brave, right? So uh, he prepared a bit of a stand up bit uh, for us. So. Uh, take it away, Connor. We're just audience members like you guys, so we'll, we'll laugh, we'll clap. We're on the clock right now. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yeah, okay, keep it going. Give it up for Shane <laughs> and Jack. They're doing a great job, aren't they? Wow, we... Well, I'm a ghost now. I did it. Ghost potion worked. Some of you are wondering why I decided to be a ghost. Well, it all started the other day when I was very sad. <laughs> and I had that feeling where I was like, I, I probably need to cry, but I feel like I need to watch a tutorial about it first. <laughs> Figure out how to do it. So I was looking stuff up and stumbled across Ghostbusters. I loved Ghostbusters growing up as a kid. I used to watch Slimer and just be like, oh my god, how do you how do you eat that many hot dogs and not be sick? My mom would make me sick if I had that many hot dogs. And at that point I kind of remembered a, a resolution I'd made back when I was a kid, which was that I was going to figure out how to turn into a ghost. I'd be the first person to ever do it. There's been a lot of firsts in my life. Uh, I was the first guy to tell 911 that 9-11 happened. <laughs> Seriously, man, I was on the line with them being like, guys, I'm watching the news right now and you've got to see this. <laughs> Didn't get any credit for it. Okay, all right, chill out. I'm allowed to make these jokes. I'm dead. <laughs> So after seeing Slimer and it awakening this childhood memory in me, I knew I had to go and speak to my sociopath. He's such a good guy, or he seems like it. He said it was a good idea, and he said, hey, I've got this ghost potion for you. You just take that, and in a few days, you'll be a ghost. Got sicker and sicker, it worked. I fell asleep one night, three days later, woke up as a ghost. Uh, you get ghost powers. <laughs> Being a ghost, you have powers. I can see through all of your clothes. <laughs> and I'm extra funny now. <laughs> you guys like impressions? Here's a... Uh, Here's an impression of a guy that lost his son outside of the Sky Dome. Oh, uh, by the way, the son's name is Tickets. Tickets! Go get this angle, he got tickets! I need tickets, please! Anybody need tickets? Uh, Jack, can you come pick me up and walk me around? This is the, uh, the ramp section of my set just walk me around like I'm like I'm a little upset yeah. like I'm huffing and puffing <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, there we go good <clears throat> okay, what's the big idea with escape, uh, escape rooms? <laughs> who came up with this idea? huh? you're, apparently you go in there, people say you can't get out I've gotten out of every single escape room I've ever been in, in record time. You don't know how? I got one simple trick. When I'm in there, I go, let me out, let me out, let me out, I'm not joking, I'm, let me out, I'm, I'm having an asthma attack, let me out, let me out, let me out. And 
and they let me out. And invariably they get upset with me, say, you can't do that, sir. You can't scream like that. And I said, I thought it was an escape room. I escaped. There's no time. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, yeah, we did it. 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 I suspect that we might win by a landslide. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, can you fix that for a height for a normal man? Oh. <laughs> Next up, we have a normal man, good friend of mine, great friend of the show. Can we get a Chris Sandiford? Wow. Chris Sandiford, everybody. Chris Sandiford. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Wow. Bring that music nice and late. No, we love it. That was smooth. I think Connor got up, up in the iPad. No, you know what? Turn it on now. <laughs> <laughs> so I it was going to drop, you know? It's not, it's not, that was rude, frankly. Rude of me. Rude of me to demand it. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Wow. A lot of us in this basement. Wow. I didn't think we'd ever make it, you know? Mask on. Smart. <laughs> 